Welcome to Let's Talk How You Pick a Lion Squad. Uh, please feel free to put uh, comments below and um, I'll try and get them. I am Paul, the guy behind Driving More. Um, so every man and his dog at the moment is picking lion squads. And generally what they're doing is they're just picking the favourite players uh, and putting them in. Or it's more teams than squads at the moment. We'll get to squads probably closer to the time that we actually announce it. Talking to um, my uh, the people over here, there is a big feeling that the Lions will probably um, get swept and not and could go and not win any of their games. The exception is um, actually the first opening game, which is against a provincial union 15, and we'll have to see who actually gets selected for that, uh, because that should be non-Super Rugby players, as all the, as the Super Rugby teams will be playing at that time. Um, for example, the night before that game, uh, I'll be at Eden Park for the Blues versus the Reds. So there is um, there is an expectation over here anyway that it's going to be a losing effort. So how do we do, does Warren Gatland go about um, ensuring that, that is not what happens? Um, the and also it's also the other point to make is that for that first one, uh, for opening game against Provincial Union 15, um, the Aviva Premiership and the Pro 12 final are the week before that. Um, so will those players even be available? And that just gives you an idea as to how short an amount of time Gatlin is going to have with his game plan. So what does he do? Does he go and pick the best players, as we are seeing people try and do with their 15s at the moment, and then just try and implement a game plan around that? Um, or does he decide, right, I've only got a week until the first game, so I've got to pick a simple game plan, and this is the game plan we're going to have, and then pick the best players for that. And obviously that's not how people are picking it, um, but I think that might be there being elements to that. I mean, for example, he can't take uh, an Irish game plan, which is really complicated, uh, and expect that to work on a Lions tour. That just it just wouldn't work. Uh, but then again, he's got to be careful if he takes the what's been traditionally the Welsh one around the corner, um, and it's, it's a bit too simple uh, and gets bashed in, and, and just have to front up. The, so that is a comment. That, so you'll see people's. Um, uh, 15s at the moment will probably be nowhere near what actually happens because Gatlin will be looking at a game plan and then who fits into that game plan, I think, rather than just taking the top 15 players. The next piece also is you've only got a week to uh, before that first game um, and you have very little, little time. So not only are, do we have game plans to talk about, but also combinations. So do you pick um, combinations of players where, say, one of them is the best one, but the other one isn't, um, rather than picking two players who are the best next to each other um, because they just don't know each other's game plans. Uh, Warren Gatlin is a, has history on this one, as from memory, uh, one of his opening uh, games for, for what, when he was managing Wales. Uh, from, I think he picked 14 players from, um, from one province or one club in Wales um, for the, his national team, which was... Uh, pretty unprecedented really so he has a he has a history of liking combinations um, as opposed to necessarily picking the best players uh, for, uh, for, for for a team so I think that's one of the things we're going to have to look at and have to remember when you're looking at all these 15s is that Warren Gatlin will be picking combinations um, and he will be picking players to fit his game plan he won't be picking players um, he won't simply be picking the best 15 uh, and, and that's how I think he will be going about selecting his Lions 15. So um, let me know your thoughts, please. Uh, if you are watching on Twitter or Periscope, please do share this. If you're watching on YouTube, please give it a thumbs up. Um, do let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, on Twitter, or if you're uh, on YouTube, you can obviously put in the comments in below. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll be giving you my Super Rugby predictions and then we'll be having um, Six Nation predictions on Wednesday. So that's what's coming up. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and uh, talk to you again soon.